Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Data File Structure and Algorithm Series. Today is our lecture number six. Let's proceed to our topic for today. So we have here our first topic is algorithm, second is criteria for algorithm, third is analysis of algorithm. Let's proceed to algorithms. The meaning of algorithm is a finite set of instruction that is specify a sequence of operation to be carried out. So it meant to say that it has an end on the instruction itself. There's no such thing as continuous uh, instruction without ending. Second is, it is considered to be numerative. There should be a guide of numbers. So without guide like alphabet and numeric, then it cannot be classified as algorithm. The second meaning we have is a recipe for solving problem. Example of simple algorithm apply to wet hair, massage gently, leave on for a few moments, rinse off. Maybe this is something like how to use shampoo in your hair algorithm. All the tasks that can be carried out by a computer can be stated as algorithm. Now why we need to study algorithms? Computer scientists learn by experience. We learn by seeing others solve problems and by solving problems by ourselves. Just like you as BSIT can be a computer scientist because you are Bachelor of Science. Being exposed to different problems, solving techniques, and seeing how different algorithms are designed help us to take an on the next challenge problem that we are given. So you need to be exposed and we have the problem that is challenging to us. By considering a number of different algorithms, we can begin to develop patterns just like what we've discussed. So the three classification of patterns is uh, classification pattern, formal specification pattern and solution pattern. They are connected to each other because they are all algorithm also. Recognition so that the next time a similar problem arises, we are better able to solve it. So we're finished with algorithm. Now let's proceed to our second topic, criteria for algorithm. So we have here in figure 13 show an algorithm of Google design. Remember that uh, the Google transformed the world through their algorithm. And uh, who is in charge with this? Of course, PSIT computer science and computer engineers. So those are the person behind Google. And uh, without Google, so I think it's very hard for us to learn more and more and hudge data because in Google, they incorporated all data to simplify what we are doing right now through education. So we have here the criteria for algorithm. Every algorithm must satisfy the following criteria. Again, satisfy. So input, output, definiteness, finiteness, and effectiveness. So we have five criteria for algorithm. So without these five, there is no such thing as criteria for algorithm. So input, zero or more quantities are externally supplied. So even zero are classified to be an input. Output, at least one quantity is produced. So you can see it on the screen. Definiteness, each instruction must be clear and unambiguous. So it should be, if it is a problem, it is considered to be or need to be solved. And that is definiteness. We are willing to solve every problem. Finiteness, all instruction of an algorithm will terminate after a finite number of steps. So there should be an end in every solution that we're going to provide. Effectiveness, each operation must be definite but must be able to be feasible. The problem are being solved with the use of algorithm and that is effectiveness. So we have here inputs are the data items presented to the algorithm. An algorithm has either no input 
or a predetermined number of them. An example of that is you don't have any anything but you can solve problems. Like on earth, sometimes people need to buy things to finish a project but even though without buying things they can solve it for example firing a light of course we need uh, maybe a lighter a gas stove but uh, a wood can be used okay as an our early age men they use uh, woods that can be fired they use also stones that can be fired also so that's the idea Output are the data items presented to the outside world as a result of execution of a program based on the algorithm. An algorithm ought to produce at least one output. So output means if you have two stones, you flick them, there's a what they call friction, then it produces fire. So we're finished now with criteria for algorithm. Now let's proceed to our last topic for today, analysis of algorithm. Analysis of algorithms determine the amount of resources necessary to execute. With such a uh, time and storage usually terms of CPU time and memory requirements. And there are three analysis of algorithms we needed to identify. First is the best case analysis. Second is the worst case analysis. And the last is the average case analysis. So let's discuss these three analysis of algorithm. Worst case analysis usually done, we calculate upper bound on running time of an algorithm. We must know that the case causes maximum number of operation to be executed. It means to say, you have plenty of time but you didn't solve the problem. That is what you called worst case al al analysis or algorithm. Next, we have average case analysis, sometimes done. In average, case analysis, we take all possible inputs and calculate computing time for all the inputs. What do you mean by this? You do the thing, but there's what you call blackness. There is no consistency in your job. Maybe uh, you, are, you need to find something else, but it's already in front of you. That is the average case. And we have plenty of average case in terms of percentage rather than the the worst case and the best case. And the last we have best case analysis. This is something like bogus. Bogus in the terms of because we are not yet scientists. In the best case analysis, we calculate lower bound on running time of an algorithm. We must know that the case that causes minimum number of operation to be executed. I, it means to say we can finish solving the problem in a very limited time in a very short time and that is what we call best case analysis so in validation board algorithms criteria for algorithm analysis of algorithm already finished that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number six